Let's discuss each type of RQL query. We'll start with a config query. Redlock ingests various services and associated configuration data from your AWS, Azure, and GCP cloud services. Using config queries, you can retrieve the resource information and identify misconfigurations, gain operational insights, and identify policy and compliance violations. Examples of config queries are identifying the number of S3 buckets open to the public, or how many security groups are overly permissive. We can initiate our queries by navigating to the Investigate tab. And then there's a Query text box. And if I click in that box, you'll see that there's a helpful dropdown with an autocomplete function. So I can select any one of these three options here, the config, the event, or the network. And as we mentioned, we'll start with config where is the expression. So let's go ahead and submit an entire query for configuration. We'll start with config where. And we'll go ahead and select by cloud type equals AWS. And I can use the AND function to build out my query. I'm using the drop down box and the autocomplete functionality. All legal constructs that I can add to this query will be presented in the drop down box. And we'll go ahead and choose by API name. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm interested in S3 buckets. So I'll scroll down until I find the API that I'm interested in regarding the S3 buckets here. And we'll add a JSON rule to that. Server side encrypted is false. And then I can hit return and invoke the query. And you can see there's a number of resources that are presented that match the criteria of that RQL query. So we'll go ahead and select the first resource name here. Notice the service is S3. Uh, the region is specified here. And if I scroll across, I can view the resource configuration. But we'll go ahead and select it. And I'm presented with a details panel here. Uh, there's configuration information on the left. There's an audit trail on the right. As I further investigate this resource, there are a couple of ways I can look at the resource configuration. There is a button in the details panel on the left here, resource config. The same button is over here to the right of the audit event panel, one of the audit event panels. I can view the resource configuration that way as well. And I can scroll down to see the entire configuration. If I want more details about any one of these audit events, I can click on the panel. And you can see that the changes made during this particular timestamp are displayed in red and green panels. So I can go through and I can see what was deleted and what was added to the configuration during this audit event. And I can close that panel by clicking on it once again. So continuing with our investigation, if I scroll to the right, you can see that there was an alert that was generated during this date. If I want to explore what that alert was, I can click on it. That opens up a new tab in my browser. It takes me to the alert tab in Redlock. I need to expand my time range to encompass that alert. And I see the alert right here. If I click on this panel, the alerts panel, S3 buckets are accessible to public. I'm going to click on that there. It takes me into a details panel. S3 buckets are accessible to public. Gives me recommendations with regards to the alert. So underneath the violating resources section of the page, I can see the alert ID, the resource name. That's the resource we've been investigating. If I continue to move my cursor across the panel, I can see the alert status is open. Therefore, I have options to either dismiss or resolve or remediate the cause of this alert. 